Happy Friday, you guys. I feel like I have not talked to the camera in a hot minute, but that's because I haven't. Uh, last time I filmed was like for that um, Sam's Club haul, which I just posted, but I, I mean, that was like over a week ago. So good to be back. Honestly, I'm really enjoying this YouTube thing. It's like a fun outlet for me. I don't really know how else to describe it. Um, and I also am really enjoying like learning editing and all that fun stuff. So hopefully you guys are enjoying uh, the videos and whatnot. Open to any suggestions that you guys might have or if you have any ideas for what I should film, uh, let me know. But I am Becca, welcome to my channel. Uh, it's a fairly new channel. So thank you so much for being here and watching. But today it's Friday, it is almost 6 a.m. I got up early this morning to help Michael get ready for work. He normally has to leave the house by five um, to get to work on time. So once I'm up, out of the bed, doing things around the house, like there's no point in going back to sleep. So I just fixed a little coffee. Hopefully you guys enjoy this little day in my life vlog. Me and Grace are gonna go hang out on the couch for a little bit. Oh, and then I have to show you guys this just cause it's sitting here. If y'all have not tried, these freaking Alani's, it's empty, so that's why it's sitting on the counter. I need to break it down. But if y'all have not tried these Witch's Brew, like they are seriously crack. They are so freaking good. They taste just like a caramel apple. And Michael has actually drank all six of these, so I'm glad I got two packs. Like okay, so I clearly have not made my bed this morning. That needs to be accomplished, but I'm about to take a shower and get myself together for the day. It's already seven o'clock. I don't know like how I just wasted an hour on the couch, but sometimes it's just necessary. So I'm gonna get ready, um, make my bed, <laughs> pick up a little bit, and then probably head to the gym. I mean, it's it's a little bit of a mess, but it just happens, you know? Um, I don't know why this is on the floor. Actually, I'm probably gonna wear this. I actually just made an Amazon storefront. All right, let me get what I actually came in here for, um, which was my tennis shoes, which I think are out there. Nothing's in the right spot. <laughs> no, but I actually just made a Amazon storefront because I literally half of my life is from Amazon. So I figured why not put things in a convenient spot for everyone. So I did that and these are on there. Tell me that these are not the UGG minis. I haven't even taken the tag off yet. Uh, they are literally so freaking comfortable. $50 on Amazon. So I have these linked uh, in my little Amazon storefront and they were sold out a few days ago and they just restocked. So if you want some knockoff Uggs that look exactly like the real thing, go on Amazon. Uh, and I have like a wider foot and if you, if you have a wide foot, definitely grab them in wides because they do run a little bit narrow. Anyways, that's my little share of the day. We are going to throw on some socks shoes and then I love the dude in the background he always seems to haunt me in my <laughs> YouTube videos and I think it's because he knows that I hate him so like he just shows up wherever he pleases so I'm gonna throw my shoes on and then oops make or prepare like my post-workout shake and stuff because if I'm going to the grocery store after the gym I will be ravenous and I will buy the entire store so to prevent that from happening, I'm going to bring a protein shake and probably something else to snack on, honestly. So, also, I think I talked about these hokas that I bought. Um, it's been over a month now, but I think I talked about them in one of my YouTube videos. I definitely talked about them on Instagram, but they are freaking amazing. I wasn't sure what my thoughts were on them. They're kind of dirty right now uh, at first, but after wearing them like to my 12-hour shifts and running and working out and doing all the things i am obsessed with them and now i can tell a difference like if i'm wearing my on clouds or any other sneaker the like my feet start to hurt so these are amazing i have concluded i'm actually going to get another pair probably not the these are the um what are these they're not the bond eyes that everybody has they're the 
gosh, I can't even, oh, the Clifton's, the Clifton 8's. Uh, so I'm gonna try the Bondi's next because that, those are the ones that everyone raves about too. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna go ahead and probably order those pretty soon, <laughs> um, unless I talk myself out of it, but these are amazing. So if you're looking for a new sneaker, especially if you work, uh, like shift work and you're a nurse or something, you definitely need you some Hoka's. I totally thought it was filming and it wasn't, so here we are. But I have my little pre-workout concoction here. I've got my Alpha Surge, which is essentially just a pump product. It just makes me feel so much better in the gym when I take a pump product. Uh, so this says promotes oxygen and nutrient delivery, supports blood flow, skin tearing pumps in the gym, which I do agree with. It works very well. Um, and it doesn't have any caffeine in it, which I don't really need caffeine right now because I'm running a million miles a minute and I've already had two coffees. So this is perfect for when I am wanting a little something for the gym to like kind of boost me, make me feel a little better. Um, like looking in the mirror when you take a pump product, it makes you feel 10 times more confident. So got that um, mixed in there. And then my favorite supplement of all time, which is creatine. Um, this is the number one and the only supplement proven to see results uh, on the market because supplements are not FDA approved. Uh, this is the only supplement that uh, people have like done research on or enough research on to um, like make the claim that you actually see results from it. So if you're looking for one product, and I know this is backwards because I have my front facing camera on. Um, if you're looking for one product that uh, you need to incorporate or not need to, you don't need any supplements, but if you're looking for one product to incorporate, uh, on your fitness journey, definitely make it creatine. It is also like one of the most affordable products, uh, in the fitness industry. It is for this particular one I use has a hundred servings. It's from first form, um, has a hundred servings. I think it's like 35, $39 or something. I don't know. Prices are going up on everything. So it's hard to keep up. Um, not just supplements, like literally everything in the world. So, and now I am just putting my little post-workout shake in a baggie for when I'm done with my workout. So I've got a scoop of Formula One fast digesting protein. And then I sometimes will do this, sometimes won't. I'm doing a half scoop of Ignition, which is just a fast digesting carbohydrate that helps replenish your muscles. Um, because when you're working out, you're depleting your glycogen stores. So this just helps to replenish those and aids in a quicker recovery. So got that for the gains. And you know, I'll probably bring a protein bar just so that like in case I am ravenous, I'm not buying the entire grocery store. So got that, I'm gonna pack into my gym bag. Okay. Got my pre-workout, which I'm actually not gonna pack because I'm gonna drink it right now. I've got my post-workout and my protein shake um, and my protein bar. That's probably all I'm gonna take to the gym and you put my Apple Watch on. What else do I need to do? Probably just go throw a sweatshirt on and call it a day. I really should eat something before I go to, to be honest. So I might make like half a bagel because when I'm going to the gym, I don't want to eat too much because I don't want to feel bloated, nauseous, all the things. But I want to have something so I don't pass out. Um, these freaking bagels, the best. And I am so ratchet that I don't have a toaster so I use my oven on broil to toast things do not judge me um but this brand Dave's Killer Bread I'm sure you've heard of it um they have the best bagels these ones in particular if I can get them out of the dang thing I'm only gonna do half but these ones in particular the boom and berry are the freaking best but they're so hard to find okay I'm literally breaking it love that all right so I'm gonna do that um it's so funny because I like I said, I can literally never find them in the store. So I got two packs. The last time I went to the store, I think I actually found them at Walmart, surprisingly. Or maybe it was Kroger. Um, I'm going to do Frosties actually right now. And I froze one pack so that I would have them because I am just obsessed. Okay. So it is about almost 8 o'clock now. So I feel like I'm making pretty good time with the morning. Um, I have been stuck at the computer the past couple days that I've had off because I am actually in school to get my bachelor's degree. I have an associate's in nursing, so, uh, I graduated as a nurse at like 21 
and I have not gone back to get my bachelor's just because I hate freaking school, but the hospital that I work for is requiring it. So I am working towards that and it's all online. So it's, I'm not gonna say it's easy, but it's just like relatively convenient for me. It just sucks because like my days off now are dedicated to getting schoolwork done, but hopefully I'll finish that within the next six months and that'll be done with. And then I'm never ever going to school again. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, if you guys, uh, I posted like a couple of nursing videos or I have posted a couple of nursing videos and I plan to post more, but so I'm assuming that like nurses, uh, slash like maybe nursing students, ner people who are aspiring, aspiring to be nurses, I don't know, are maybe clicking on the videos and, uh, watching them. So if you are an aspiring nurse, or if you, um, are thinking about maybe going to nursing school, please, please, please look into, unless you're stead set on like a college or university that you know you want to go to um, or for your school, look into associates of nursing because I'm telling you guys, you will make the same amount of money as any of the uh, BSN nurses. And I don't care who says otherwise because I literally am a, like a proven factor <laughs> in that. Um, and I was just so scared because I went to school for my associate's degree and Everyone told me, you know, people like kind of frown about frown upon it because you're not, um, I don't know, like you're not getting the highest amount of education there is, but you're learning the same thing. You're still a competent nurse. You pass the NCLEX. Um, also going on a rant here, but I just need to point this out. Uh, so if you are in high school or if you're looking to become a nurse or want a career change, do not be afraid of going into an associate's degree program. Just make sure that the program is accredited and, um, you know, it works with your lifestyle. But I was in and out of nursing school in, gosh, I think it was like 18 months or something like that. And I did go to a year, uh, a year round program. So we didn't have like summers off or holidays off or anything like that, but it was well worth it because I came right out of nursing school, went into, um, the professional field and, I feel like I've done pretty well for myself. I'm, I'm only 24 and I've been a nurse for, I guess, three years now. Yeah. So, um, yeah, if you are looking for like, just, you want to get out there, you want to get in the nursing field, you want to get experience, you want to make money, look into associate's degree, um, of nursing, because I'm telling you guys, you literally make the same. The only difference is the letters behind your name. So I am working towards that long story short. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I'll keep you guys posted on how that's going for me. And it's really taking up a lot of my time right now, but I'm just trying to knock it out of the way. Uh, so today I'm really probably not going to focus on school at all. Uh, I might do like a little bit of studying, but aside from that, I'm today's like a get things done around the house day. So let's see what this, uh, okay. She's burnt. She's daggone burnt. And this is the problem with me being cheap and not buying a toaster. My fire alarm's probably gonna go off. It's hot. Okay, maybe I can scrape the top layer off. She's burnt. This looks like 10 times better. <laughs> I mean, it's still a little burnt and crispy, but me and my bagel, we're gonna get on the road. So I am on the way to run my little errands, but my workout was awesome. <clears throat> my workout was awesome. I did, like I, I'm pretty sure I said a million times, chest and tries. On a normal training day of chest and tries for me, I keep it very, very simple. I keep all my workouts very simple, um, but I have been starting my workouts with a little bit of Stairmaster. So I hopped on the Stairmaster, like I said, drank my pre-workout. And I was on there for probably like 10, 11 minutes um, on level nine. Kick my butt per usual, but some days I'll go 10, some days I'll go five for like a really quick warm up, and then some days I'll go 15 to 20 minutes on the Stairmaster. It really just kind of depends on how I'm feeling. But today we did, I think it was 11 minutes. Um, and then I went straight into bench press and I just did like traditional barbell, you know, like beefy bro <laughs> bench press. Um, and I was actually pretty proud of myself. I got 35s on each side, which I think is what? 45, what is that? 130, no. I think it's like 125 maybe, 120, something of that nature. Um, but 
had to have someone come spot me because I was a little, I was a little apprehensive. But um, back when Michael was going to the gym with me, uh, when we used to live in Virginia, I would lift heavier because I wasn't as afraid because I always had him there to spot me. But now he works out at work, and so I don't have him there, and so I have to ask someone to spot me. It's just like a whole thing. So all my things asking me to finish my workout. I am actually going to pull into this car dealership and snoop around real quick. See what kind of Jeeps they have because I just love admiring them. So let's see what they got. I'm not going to get out though because we all know how, what are they called? So maybe I am going to get out because I really want to look and see how much these are. Or just this one. Okay, BRB. Nobody caught to me. <laughs> Okay, not bad. I really want to get a Jeep Wrangler, <clears throat> but I'm waiting until the time is right because obviously right now with um, inflation, gas prices, probably not the best idea to buy a vehicle, especially one that burns as much gas as Jeeps do. So we're being logical, but I really want to look at this one up here. This is like literally my dream jeep i'm afraid because it's like right in front of the door and they're gonna see me i don't care don't look okay they got me they got me um that jeep was freaking beautiful the one that i just stopped and looked at that i said was like my dream jeep um is already sold but oh, she's beautiful i'm oh what's that I'm sure it was like 70 grand, 80 grand, but I loved it. I'm just obsessed with Jeeps, especially Wranglers, so this guy gave me his card. Um, but I don't know, you guys. We might not be cruising around the Corolla for too much longer. I am going to Walmart now. Stop getting distracted by pretty things. And uh, yeah, I will probably just film when I get home, let y'all know what goodies I find because it's Walmart and we all know how I or at least you guys you guys will find out how I how I roll when it comes to Walmart like Walmart is my target now how did I make my way in here This one, isn't she cute? It's an outdoor pillow. It's got Christmas trees on the back. So freaking cute. Um, and I knew these were gonna sell out, so that's why I bought them this early. And I got this other one. And I'm gonna put these on the rocking chairs out front when we decorate for Christmas. I gotta hide those because Michael really is gonna be like, what the heck are you doing, crazy lady? Okay, so these I feel like are kind of the star of the show. Um, which I don't know if these were like so last year or whatever, because I know everyone had like the, I don't know if they were like Chanel or Gucci, some bougie brand that I could never afford um, of these boots, but I found them at Walmart. And I don't know if this is old news or not, but if it ain't, y'all better run because look at these beauties. Like, are you kidding? They are so cute, so high quality, like they are heavy. I am super impressed. So, these little Madden booties, I am very, extremely excited about. I don't have any black booties. Um, I told you guys, like, I think it might have even been in my first YouTube video that I don't really have a lot of, like, clothes. Um, which sounds weird to say, but like, I just don't have a lot of like going out clothes, like cute clothes for like the seasons because we, while I was in nursing school and while we were saving for this house, we really weren't spending a lot of money. Um, so obviously that's changed. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, um, so I didn't really spend money on clothes. So I don't really have like a wardrobe per se. That sounds very dramatic. Like I've got a couple things, but like, I don't have like a cute stable wardrobe. So 
Black boots are a definite must for fall. I got these, I am very excited. They were $40, which is expensive for Walmart, but not expensive for these boots. So I'm telling y'all, you need to go get these boots. They're by Madden NYC. True to size. I'm very excited about these. Um, okay, and then I saw this while I was perusing the underwear aisle, um, but it's just this little uh, cropped, it's Avia is the brand. It's like a little cropped workout top and I thought it was so cute and I don't have any like brownie um, colored workout clothes. So I figured this would be a cute little addition to that. It was like $13. Okay, look how cute this sweater is. I feel like it's not for everyone and if you would ask me if I liked this like a month or two ago, I probably would have said no, but I feel like more fun, unique pieces like thrown in with a bunch of neutrals, which is what I normally wear, as you can tell, um, is just a good, it's, it's fun to have. So I've got this cute little fun sweater. It was on sale for $19 and it was $30. So I feel like that's a steal. I got a medium. So cute, right? might wear that tonight we'll see i got this little staple turtleneck i, don't, I wouldn't even call it a turtleneck it's just like kind of got like this maybe it is a turtleneck i don't know um it was eight dollars and they had all the different colors i actually meant to grab one in brown but i totally forgot so probably gonna grab some more of these by the time uh like true fall and winter roll around and it's cold outside. It's so cute. And just tuck these into like a pair of high-waisted jeans and you've got you a cute little outfit. Then this is very much not me at all, but I'm, I'm branching out this leather skirt. Look how freaking cute it is. Like even if you're not a skirt person, which I'm definitely not, um, this is adorable. I have zero skirts. I own no skirts, not a single one do I own. Um, and I have very minimal dresses. Like I'm talking maybe two or three. So this is gonna be very different for me. It has freaking pockets. I just realized that. How amazing. This is adorable. I'm so sorry. I, I How do you even beat this? And it was $14.98, so $15 for this freaking adorable skirt. Uh, we have Christmas photos coming up in two weeks. Um, cause we moved away from all of our family and we've never done Christmas cards before. So I was like, it'd be really fun to do Christmas cards this year for our family. So that's why we have Christmas photos scheduled so early. Um, so we're going to take those, but I figured this might be cute to wear. Maybe what's I don't know. We'll see. But that was adorable. Had to grab that. Um, got this random rug and it already has, it's almost like it kind of already has a grip on the bottom of it, which is really nice. Um, got this. Wow, I got a lot of clothes actually. Um, I got this sweater, just like a little staple turtleneck. I don't even own turtlenecks. I don't know what the heck I'm doing <laughs> with three turtlenecks. Who do I think I am? Okay, got this cute little cozy sweater. I got a size large just because I wanted to um, upsize and let it be oversized so that it will like cover my butt when I'm wearing leggings. But this with a pair of black leggings and those black boots. Yes. Very excited about that. Very cozy. It was, I don't know if I already said this. It was $16, $17, $16.98. And then I got this, which is kind of boring, but it's literally basically what I'm wearing right now, but it zips fully. So I kind of almost got this just for work. Like I have a lot of um, sweatshirts for work, but I don't have a lot of like zip up jackets. I don't have any zip up jackets for work. So I got this for that. And then just for like lounging and something quick to throw on because it is getting cold outside. I don't know how much this was. I'm not really sure to be honest. My guess is like $10 or less. Then I feel like this is what sparked the freaking shopping, the, freaking, the clothing shopping, this freaking jacket. I am like seriously blown away. How cute, the cut is like perfect. It is so cute. Are you serious? Like what? This is the first time like actually seeing it on. 
this is adorable and you can layer it because I'm wearing this sweatshirt underneath and it's still roomy. Oh, I'm obsessed. I, they had a couple different colors and prints. Um, they had like a really cute like neutral or like nude and black uh, gingham print which I thought would be cute and I almost grabbed but I didn't. Um, so this is like totally me. It's neutral. It's cute. It's cropped. It's warm. $25. They also had just a plain black, which I honestly, I feel like I wanted that one over this one. Um, but I already have a black jacket and they didn't have my size. So I was like, let's, let's branch out a little bit, do something cute. Like, I am so obsessed with this. So that is everything that I got. Okay, the fact that I'm decked out in my Walmart <laughs> loungewear right now is hilarious, but I've got my little Avia tank top on. This is giving me major Lululemon Align material vibes and just like the way that it fits it is super cute um and then i have these i've had these for a while these walmart lounge shorts i've got a million pairs of them because they are super soft really good quality because i've washed them a million times and they still feel the same as they did when i bought them but all that to say <laughs> i've got my walmart clothes on and i did a little tiktok with what i purchased these jeans i did not buy but i just wore them in the tiktok to show some of the sweaters and stuff so I just did a little TikTok. If you guys want to go um, follow me there, I tried all this stuff on that I got from Walmart. And yeah, I am just going to go ahead. These little things right here are dangerous. Do not buy these if you see them in the store. I'm warning you now. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and probably get a clean on with this house because you know how it is when you like go shopping and then you buy things and you don't want to put them away. That's kind of how I feel right now, but... We're gonna get some stuff done, clean the dishes. Probably vacuum them out the floors. So I think that I like this rug here versus the one that matches that, the runner that matches that here. I put the runner. Oh, <laughs> just kidding, I did not. It's outside. <clears throat> My voice just cracked a lot. Hi, Grace. It's outside, it's sitting on top of the hot tub actually because I'm gonna spray it down. The absolute best thing for a white rug or a white anything or literally any stain. Why is it not focusing? Is this Folex? I get it at Home Depot, but you can also find it on Amazon, I'm pretty sure. So get you some Folex if you have white rugs because it literally gets any stain possible out. clean the ladybugs are taking over my house a month ago it was flies and now it's ladybugs so i love that for me drinking my little lani which is brew this one of course is just constantly begging for us to play with her but don't let her fool you i've been throwing that dang wheel to her like so many times but my house is clean and maybe i'll show you guys like a little overview of the clean house we're clean we're clean. I 
did not put the dishes away, <laughs> but I um, did not light candles because we are probably gonna leave shortly after my food gets here and gets ready. But this is the little rug that I got for the kitchen. I think it looks great. I think it fits the space really nice. So we got the living room all clean. This is like the last weekend I can use my little scary bat pillow because Halloween's about done. But I ended up putting the little plant there. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. What do you guys think? I just, these freaking cords irk me so bad. So it kind of like acts as an illusion and covers them up a little better. But I don't know how I'm feeling about like the various heights throughout here. Maybe I need to like move this over here. Is that what I need to do? Hmm, I feel like that looks a little bit better actually. Okay, so besides the point, that's nice and clean. Got the bedroom clean, but the only, see I told you I'm bad at cleaning mirrors because look at that little smudge. That's not the glass cleaner's fault. That's my fault. Um, the only thing I have left to do that is forever daunting is this freaking laundry. At least I took it out of the guest bedroom. That's normally where it resides, but gotta do the laundry and fold it up and then I will be done. And we are going to get ready for sushi tonight. I'm very excited about that. I'm MIA on you guys. And we just got home from dinner and ice cream with our friends, but um, this was my little OOTN. We kind of had to rush to get ready for dinner after Michael got home. So we are about to climb in the bed right now. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this little day in my life video. Um, I will be back with maybe like a, a weekend shift video next. I don't know. Let me know what you guys want to see. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching and see you guys next time.